Hello, his kids. Get up and let's get started. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be faithful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in
government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. Isaiah 9 verse 7. Now say it with me. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. Isaiah 9 verse 7. Bye. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Sunday. I hope you've been enjoying learning about King David because we're going to learn about him again this week. So in the Bible story we will hear today, King David thought he could hide something from everyone, but he couldn't hide it from God. But before we get into our story today, we're going to quickly go over our big picture question. And that is, how is Jesus the perfect king? We already saw that Saul was not the perfect king for Israel. He sinned and God rejected Saul from being king. David was a great king, but as we will see in today's Bible story, he sinned too. Only Jesus is the perfect king. How is Jesus the perfect king? Jesus perfectly rules over the universe as the king of kings. So let's go into today's Bible story to see what happened. David was the king of Israel. One spring, David sent out the army, but he put another man in charge of them. David stayed in Jerusalem. One evening, David looked out from his palace and saw a beautiful woman named Bathsheba. Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah, one of the best warrior in David's army. David sent his messengers to get Bathsheba. And she came to David's house. Later, Bathsheba told David that she was going to have a baby. The baby would be David's. David knew what he had done was wrong. David should not have a baby with someone who is not his wife. So David made a plan to make sure no one found out that Bathsheba's baby was his. David called Uriah home from the battle and told him to go spend time with his wife. But Uriah didn't think it was fair for him to relax at home while the other men were at war. He slept on David's doorstep and refused to visit his wife. So David made up another plan. He instructed Joab, the leader of the army, to send Uriah into the hardest part of the battle so he would be killed. This time, David's plan worked. Uriah was killed in battle. David took Bathsheba into his house to be his wife, and she had a baby boy. God knew what David had done. And he was not happy with David. God sent Nathan the prophet to talk to David. Nathan told David a story. A traveler came to a rich man who had many animals. The rich man to not offer his own animal. Instead, he took a poor man's lamb, the only lamb he had, and gave it to the traveler to eat. This story made David feel angry. The rich man should die, David said. You are the man, Nathan said. God had given David a position of great power, and David took what wasn't his. David realized he had sinned against God. David deserved to die. You won't die for this, Nathan assured David, but God will punish you. Your son will die instead. David confessed his sin and prayed, God, create a clean heart for me. David realized he could try to please God with sacrifices, but that wouldn't be enough to pay for his sin. God wanted David's heart to change so that he would not want to sin again. When David sinned against God, God forgave him, but sin always comes with a price. God spared David's life, but David's son died. When we sin, we deserve death, but we can receive God's forgiveness because God sent his son, Jesus, to pay the price for our sin. 
What a crazy story, right? When David sinned by taking Uriah's wife, did David think anyone would find out? No. David even made a plan to make sure no one found out. He had Uriah killed in a battle. That's crazy. But who knew about David's sin? God knew and God sees all of our sin. So God sent the prophet Nathan to confront David. Nathan told David a story, but David didn't realize that that story was actually about him. David was the man who had taken something that was not for him. Was David sorry for his sin? Yes, David sinned against God, but David repented and God forgave him. In Psalm 51, it's a whole Psalm that David wrote about David asking God to give him a clean heart and to please forgive him. Sin always comes with a price. David, God spared David's life, but David's son died. Even David, one of the greatest kings of Israel and a man after God's own heart was a sinner in need of salvation. The Bible says that we are all sinners and because of our sin, we actually deserve death. But we can receive God's forgiveness because God sent His Son Jesus to pay for our sin on the cross. How amazing is that? God is so amazing and merciful that He would do that. Jesus died the death that we deserve so that we could be made right with God. So let's quickly close our eyes and bow, bow our heads and pray. God, you are so good. You pour out your mercy on undeserving sinners. And we are thankful. We can turn from our sin and turn to you. Knowing that we will find forgiveness through Jesus. God, make us truly sorrowful for our, over our sin. Like David wrote, give us clean hearts. We love you. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Happy Sunday, everyone. We hope you had a great week. Here is your first question for this week's quiz. So, when David looked out from his palace, who is the beautiful woman that he saw? Bathsheba was the beautiful woman that David saw. What are the two things that David did to try and cover up his sin? David called Uriah home from war and told him to go spend time with his wife, Bathsheba. Then, when that plan didn't work, he sent Uriah out into the hardest part of the battlefield so he could be killed. Who did God send to talk to David to let him know that he wasn't happy with him? God sent the prophet Nathan to go talk to David. Yes! What did God want to happen so that David wouldn't sin again? God wanted David's heart to change so that he would not want to sin again. That's right, and that's all the questions we have for you today. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Have a great week.